द समन के सी पॉडकास्ट अ पॉडकास्ट ऑन पर्सनल ब्रांडिंग एग्जीक्यूटिव प्रोड्यूसर समुना के सी Wednesdays are for my YouTube days. I record and edit videos on that day. But this Wednesday I felt the strong need to clean the apartment. And there I was, spending 2 hours in the morning cleaning and organizing the apartment, something I could have totally done in the weekend. To be honest, it didn't even feel like wasting time because cleaning an apartment is important, right? But However the thing is there was more important things to do that day to make video and edit after cleaning i had only 1 hour left for the assigned task so i rushed through the recording as a result in the evening when i sat down to edit i wasn't satisfied with it and i had to reshoot the next day what a waste are you doing what's important or caught up in some random acts to avoid doing what's important are you into business or busyness are you working toward your long term goals or not sometimes it feels like a character flaw for not being able to focus on the right thing good news is it's not only you and this is how life is designed to pull us in all sort of different directions It's like everything is rigged against an individual to distract her from doing something meaningful in their life. FOMO, fear of missing out. If I focus on one thing, I will miss out on so many other opportunities. It is an anxiety that an exciting or interesting event may currently happening somewhere else. That's what Instagram shows us, right? But do you know what's more haunting than FOMO? incompetence the feeling that you are not living life to the fullest fighting with resistance and distraction is hard but you are not alone in this i am with you and we have david allen's book and his system getting things done aka gtd method to guide us in this world where attention is new currency so baby let the games begin Are you waiting for a light bulb moment or an apple to fall into your head so that you can get all the answers? Hanuman, a character in Hindu mythology, was cursed and forgot who he was until someone reminded him of his own powers. We are the Hanumans of 21st century. Seldom anyone reminds us of our powers and we rarely believe in them. This podcast is a weekly reminder that you better believe that you are capable. You are enough. you belong and you are a personal brand i am your host samuna kesi and please subscribe to the samuna kesi podcast if you want to discover and develop one variable that is under your control and that can make or break your career business and life as a whole a personal brand there's too much information available nowadays and most of the time we don't even know what to do with them ashok once had 163 tabs open on his phone he constantly gets email notification text notification and me interrupting him while he's working on his computer i can't work like that i can have more than 3 to 4 tabs open on my computer and one being the music going on in the background for the focus he is either a superhuman or needs some help I usually record my episodes for him but this one is a special dedication. I can't imagine living with 163 tabs open at a time. Oh my god, it scares the crap out of me. Ab tak mario. <laughs> well, getting things done by David Allen. The main idea of this book is mind is to have ideas not to hold them. Our mind is a crappy office. You can't store much in there. Mind is not for memorizing, keeping records or reminders. We have phones to do that. Mind's primary job is pattern recognition and storing the long-term memories. It's for the split-second decisions like driving and for judgments and decisions. While working with top-level executives as a consultant, what David Allen noticed was people had old business clogging up in their head. 
Practicing GTD method can instantly help you with clarity, focus, mental peace, more stability and more control. Also the more ability to focus on the meaningful stuff to do what's important for the long term. GTD is a five step process, capturing, processing, organizing, reviewing and engaging to get things done. It will prevent you from having 163 tabs open in your mind and still make productive use of your data. Let me share with you how I practice my GTD method. The first step in the GTD method is capturing. I get information from books, movies, YouTube videos, podcasts, from the web, social media, emails, and some ideas sometimes jump on me while talking to a friend, walking, or meditating. I take screenshots of the web pages, take note on my notebook, or create a voice note. In short, I try not to keep anything on my mind. Then I have a folder on my Google Drive named Idea Capture. I transfer all the information I capture during the day into this folder. Step number two is processing. Then the next day, I start my morning with a cup of coffee and a blank page, either on computer or on a notebook, writing down everything that comes intuitively, the raw inspirations, untouched by the day's hustle and bustles. Then I go to my idea capture folder and go through the list and ask myself three questions. Do I need this information for my long-term goals or short-term goals? Is it actionable? And can I do it in two minutes? I definitely don't need to read the article on 23 things you don't know about Priyanka Chopra. I lived so far without knowing them, so I should be fine. But I definitely need to read the article on 57 literary devices that will elevate your writing. Plus examples by John Morrow. By the way, the latter one is the real article, and if you want to read it, link is available in the show note. After removing the ideas that I don't need, I ask myself, are these ideas actionable? If the answer is yes, I keep them, and if not, they gotta go. Bye! Then, can I do it in two minutes? If yes, I do it right then and there. And if it takes more than two minutes, we move on to the next step in the GTD method. The rule is the idea capture folder will have to be emptied every day. Step three in the process is to organize. That is to organize my ideas, group the similar tasks together and schedule it. Decide on the next possible action. And if something is not actionable right now, then they will go to the someday maybe folder, like that $800 Qatar Airways offer for a flight to Nepal. First, I organize ideas based on where I can apply them. YouTube videos, podcasts, social media marketing, business operations, sales, website, or personal care. Then I group the similar tasks together. Like I can put audio, video, and social media content in one place. Immediately after that, I schedule them in the calendar. For example, when I wanna shoot and edit the video, it goes into the calendar. If it's not scheduled, it's not happening. And finally, I decide on taking the next possible action. This is the time to read that article, 16 pages of article by John Morrow, and take notes and start writing. Step number four in the process is review. I make some adjustment, do some weekly, monthly, quarterly, and yearly reviews to reflect on how far I have come and what's ahead. Step number five, the final step is to just do it. Make a calendar list of what I need to do today and project list on Trello, Asana or simple Google Sheet for what I need to do to move forward and keep adding things as the time goes by and I get more information. The book Getting Things Done and the GTD method is like living life in an airplane mode where information can't overwhelm you and you'll be focused on what's important for you without responding to anything and tongue. On this note, I would like to recall my Hanuman moment. Every time I start doing something new, I go crazy. I wouldn't eat, I wouldn't sleep, and I wouldn't stop until I get to the bottom of it. 
When I think about the time when we were starting this podcast, so many things were going around in personal and professional life. It was like a chaos. Everything was all over the places. When I shared this with my mentor, he asked me, what were you doing when you were creating with a flow? I told him I was getting up 4.30 in the morning, meditating and writing every day. Then he told me, spirituality is the base of your inspiration. You got to refuel your spiritual energy frequently. Go find a group with whom you can practice on a regular basis. If you stop doing that, your creative flow may get interrupted. Everything got unboxed because I noticed every time I was losing track, I was away from my spiritual practices. This is the importance of having a mentor in your life to see what you can't see in your life. He reminded me of something that I was always doing, but I hadn't seen value in it. What I love about these entrepreneurs like David Allen, Marie Forleo, Tim Ferriss, Gary Vee, is that they not only teach you to become a better entrepreneur, but also inspire you to grow holistically. There is this universal concept, and the book emphasizes on it, that Mind is like water in a serene lake. The happenings in life are the stones thrown at the lake. The stones are unpredictable. They create tiny to massive ripples depending on the size and shape. But every time the lake comes back to the stillness. The mind always pulls me into two different directions. One says, Samuna, you are doing too much. You will burn out. Stop, stop, stop. And another says, you got to do too much. You are doing nothing. You haven't done anything yet. Go, go, go. It, it, it acts like an aggressive soccer coach and a Zen master at the same time. Mine is a monkey. Do not ride on it. Instead, direct it in the direction you want. You stay in that comfy wagon. Mind is strong. Let it run. But you direct it by using the GTD method and other resources available on this podcast and at samunakesi.com. If you like today's episode, you know what to do. You can do three things. Please rate, review and subscribe us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify and Google Podcasts. That will help us to keep making this show. Two, take a screenshot of this and share the photo on your Instagram stories and tag me at Samuna Casey. It's the best way for us to connect. Also, you can visit samunakesi.com and sign up to our newsletter for some exclusive personal branding and marketing tips that works like a charm for creative entrepreneurs, especially if you are an introvert. Thank you so much for sharing your time and attention with me. I'll see you in the next episode. Take care of yourself. Namaste. Mm-hmm.